Here we have the Atomic Barbed Wire 2. Now this is a ready to run 17 inch brushless racing boat. This has been sent to me today guys by Atomic RC themselves. Now this is a 30 mile an hour boat, 2.4 gigahertz, and it comes out of the box ready to run. Everything you need is in this package. You've got the three cell LiPo, an upgraded brushless motor, 2.4 gigahertz radio system, even aluminium parts guys. So one of the really cool things about this boat is it has a self-writing design. Now I'm really excited to look at this and I can't wait to get this out on the water. The cheese knife is out. Let's break the seals off and get inside this thing and have a look at this boat. I'm really excited about this guys. I don't really have products like this uh, in my RC arsenal at the moment. So it's quite a different project. Oh, I've got to mention as well, this is powered by Venom. So the batteries are actually Venom powered and uh, they're actually quite amazingly powerful. All right, so inside straight away, you can see there's an instruction manual. We'll look at that in a second. We've got, oh, hello, what's this here? Wow, there's a battery. So we've got a secondary 1300 milliamp hour 75C three cell. Jeez, that's quite powerful. And uh, this looks like it has an XT60 connector and obviously the JST balance connector. We'll look at that shortly. Got some AA batteries in here. That's really nice. The Duracell, they go in the transmitter. Let's have a look at the transmitter itself. There it is. You've got steering left and right. Then of course you've got go and reverse. There are a load of trims on this thing to allow you to change the settings. It looks like the steering direction's there, so you can actually increase how much you can steer, and you can reverse the trims as well. Nice. Yeah, definitely four AA batteries in there. Looking at the boat straight away, that is a fantastic design. I really like the colors, the black and the yellow go really well, and we'll look at that in a moment. Let's have a look in here first, what have we got? So, oh, a boat stand, nice. And there's something else here, what's this? Let's have a little look, so Venom instructions. What's in this bit? Oh, hello. Oh, could these be stickers? Oh, we like stickers, guys. Here's one of the batteries. So this is the ready to run uh, battery that comes with this package. You can see that there's the JST connector and uh, there's also the spec. So lithium cobalt oxide, three cell, 11.1 .1 volt, powered by Venom. This does look like a serious bit of kit and you've got some Velcro on the back of this pack here. Obviously it must stick inside the hull. You can see the XT60 connector. Let's have a look at this. What have we got? A spare propeller, some spare Velcro, an Allen key to work on the RC boat and then some cable ties. Let's have a look at the charger that comes with this RC boat. So you've got the mains plug there. If you're in the UK like I am, Go ahead and get yourself a, a cheap plug just from Amazon or somewhere like that, just so that it's compatible with the UK. Let's have a look at the charger itself in detail. So yeah, like I said, mains powered. It's a two to four cell LiPo balance charger. It does a charge up to maximum of two amps. That's not bad though. You can see the JST balance connector there. So this wouldn't take more than what, 45 minutes? So in the manual, you'll see that there is a full parts list and accessories. This also shows you how to get this RC boat up and running. So you'll be confident when you actually go to float it in the water. Right, here it comes. Oh, and before we do, this little instruction guide here shows you how to use the charger. It is really simple and um, it's very important to look after the batteries because LiPos are very dangerous. Okay, let's get this aside and have a look at the boat. Wow. That is nice. All right, so you can see the Barbed Wire 2 logo on the side, and you've got the kind of radiation symbol and atomic written there. I like the Barbed Wire, that's pretty cool. And then towards the back, you've got the little antenna there for the 2.4 gigahertz radio, an access panel to get inside, and obviously you can see the rudder, and you can also see the um, steering fins that help you to glide through the water, and the propeller, of course. Let's take a quick look inside this thing. Undo the quick release there and then take the cover off. Nice. Inside, so straight away in the center there, you can see the brushless motor with the water-cooled block that transfers all its energy to the drive shaft or the prop shaft on the rear of this boat. You can see the steering rudder there. It's a servo mounted in the chassis. You can see the radio. It's a nice looking radio actually, with a couple of spare channels on that. 
nice to see as well. If we look down the end of the hole, we can also see that there is an ESC hiding down there in the bottom left hand corner. I think we should plug this thing in and just see what it can do on the table here. I'm quite interested because this is the first boat I've ever driven. So let's stick the AA batteries into the transmitter. Perfect. We should have an on off now. Excellent. Let's connect the battery. Very excited here, folks. Oh, we had some activity from the steering servo. Let's just stick the battery in. Oh, okay, so it detected three cells there for the beeps. You can hear it beep three times, and then it kind of initialized itself. I can also see there's a green light on the radio, which means it must be able to see the transmitter. Fantastic. So looking inside there, you can see the battery actually sits there really nice and snug inside. And also the cable management is really nice in this thing. There's no chance of anything getting caught and it looks like a fantastically built piece of kit. So there are the steering fins I told you about, and obviously the rudder and the propeller. The transmitter's here, if I steer left, the rudder should steer left. Right and right, left, right, ooh! Snazzy. Let's accelerate. Power. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's going to fly in the water, guys. Absolutely. It's moving the boat forwards. Alright, so stay tuned for the running video for this, guys. I found a location near to where I live. There's a nice lake there. I can send this out, get the drone up, and get you some fantastic shots from the air. Thanks again, Atomic. Take care for now. See you later. Oh, mama. If you like the look of this product, you'll find the link to it in the description box below.